Hi, I'm Melissa here. All right, we're out here watching Mike cut down a tree. Welcome back to Morgan's Off a Leash. I'm Melissa. And actually today, we're going in the kitchen and I'm gonna make a favorite recipe. All right, we're gonna head inside and make a chicken recipe. Yeah, best friend neighbor Jeannie gave it to me and we are calling it Neighbor Jeannie's Chicken Recipe. And you know what, she gave it to me like a month ago and no kidding, we have made it every week. It makes excellent leftovers. Uh, the recipe calls to serve it over rice and we love it. You could use the leftovers on the sandwich or even in a wrap but you're gonna need two to three pounds of chicken, a half a cup of water, half a jar of the, um, I think it's called peppercinis. So this is it, we can, we go through a lot of these, but you're gonna want a half a jar and then the juice, um, a packet of gravy mix, and you can use um, the brown gravy, which is one ounce. The um, ranch seasoning, you can use a packet or if you buy it in bulk like we do because we eat so much rance, it's also one ounce. Half a stick of butter. I don't have my butter laid out. And then I'm using some garlic powder and seasoned salt, um, just some sprinkles, and you're going to need rice. Now, you know our daughter-in-law, Kate, is from Thailand, so we have the jasmine rice in a 25-pound bag that we get at Costco. Whew, they go through a lot of rice at their house, but we were starting to serve rice instead of noodles and that sort of thing. So this is gonna be served over rice. So while this goes in the instant pot, it's gonna take, I think like 25 minutes and then I'm gonna make the rice and boom, I'll show you the rest. that goes in my instant pot. This is two to three pounds, probably more three pounds of cut up boneless skinless chicken breast. Okay, this is my instant pot. Now this I showed you. So this is the pot, it just inserts. So I have the cut up chicken, the boneless skinless chicken breast, a half a stick of butter, then that's the gravy. Where's my finger? That's the gravy mix. This is the ranch dressing, the butter, the half a jar um, pepper cheese. And then I just sprinkled the seasoned salt and the garlic powder, cause I do. And a half a cup of water. I stuck the half a cup of water in the jar and just swished it around and dumped it in. I just felt like I was, you know, getting every last drop. All right, you stick the lid on, you lock it, make sure this is to sealed and not vent. Now, this is a Faberware Instant Pot. Okay, so here we go with start. And then I'm going to go up to number six. And it's pre, um, a preset for chicken. So it's set for number six. 
I hit start and as the pressure builds then it'll show you a countdown of the time and it's gonna be okay this was flipped to 20 minutes I just didn't turn my video on but it's now counting down so there's 19 minutes left for the chicken mentioning from Costco is the Kirkland the jasmine rice and on the back I'll show you cooking instructions this is one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water so we seem to always run out of rice so I made a lot today you will bring the rice to a boil and then after it starts to have a thick boil heavy boil you turn your heat down reduce your heat and then let it cover it with a lid and let it simmer for 15 minutes and that's Archie chewing on his pig in the background there's no one tooting so if you heard this noise in the background of my video Archie's toy pig can, can I see your toy pig Archie, can I see your toy pig? It's a nice pig. <laughs> I want to give you a brief um, review of the Instant Pot I use. It's made by Faberware. It's a Instant Pot pressure cooker. Um, if you take the lid off, it has a metal insert and this little trivet that um, I usually put upside down for when I make meatloaf, I put round golden potatoes on the bottom with a little bit of water or the beef broth and then a layer of foil and then our meatloaf that looks like the size of a football. And then I just put the lid on, set it, and it cooks both the potatoes and the meatloaf great. I use this to make a lot of soup, chicken recipes, beef recipes. Um, just gonna stick this lid back on. Oh, wait, one more thing about the lid. The seal around this lid, um, that comes off and you can wash and clean all of that. And in where the, the lid um, falls into these grooves, that's tricky to always get cleaned, but you can you know, stick the corner of your washcloth in there. So that's pretty easy. My Instant Pot. Um, on Amazon uh, right around Thanksgiving and uh, I think it was on maybe even after Thanksgiving it was on a Christmas sale it was a great deal I think I got this for $35 they're pretty pricey there is um, make them but Faberware has worked out well for me a few of the pros are it cooks um, all of the meat and anything I've made um, just fine a very tender falls apart the cleaning is fairly easy storage you're not gonna find an easy way to store these I keep it in my pantry all right so if you're looking for a instant pot pressure cooker I'd suggest Faberware or just check out Amazon I have a link in the description of this video check out Amazon they run deals on instant pot pressure cookers I highly recommend it. Like I said, I use it at least once a week, if not twice a week or more in the winter time. I'm like gonna get you confused. We're gonna go back to the chicken dish, but I just wanted to share a little bit about the Faberware Instant Pot pressure cooker that I got on Amazon. If you're looking to pick one up, I would recommend this one for the price. And, um, and the others, there's several out, you know, most of the, you know, um, handheld kitchen appliances make an instant pot pressure cooker so check them out the rice did come to a heavy boil so i gave it a quick stir put the lid on and turn the heat down to i have it down to medium low okay all right the rice looks good now we're going to check the chicken Smells so good. Okay, everything looks great. I just have to grab a couple forks and shred up the chicken. Okay, 
Okay, so see how easily this just shreds with just a couple forks? I, it would fall apart pretty much on its own. So here is like the pepper cheese. I think that's how you say it. And then the juice is still in the pot. I'm gonna put this in a larger bowl and pour all that together to serve it to the family. And um, I'll show you that in just a minute. Mm. Okay, I transferred everything to a bigger bowl to serve it. Putting the rice in a serving bowl. Just because I like the added touch. Now, I'm only doing it for this video. We would usually just eat it right out of here and then put it in a container of any leftovers. Okay, my, my substitute camera lady, because Hunter's, um, yeah, he got, he got fired again. Um, she's gonna give a testimonial. This um, is actually a very good dinner. She hates to admit it. Believe it or not. <laughs> she loves it. It's one of her favorites. And seriously, Jeannie, best friend, neighbor Jeannie gave this to me a month ago and we've had it every week for the last four weeks. So thank you, best friend Jeannie. And I am gonna put all of the ingredients and the instructions in the description of this video. This is neighbor Jeannie's chicken recipe. If you like these videos, click like, subscribe, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and share them with your friends. Thanks, we'll see you on the next one.